take a look at Fantasy Star End of the Millennium while we're waiting here. So, this is going to be uh, interesting. As you've heard me say before, I've been in the, the uh, belief that Fantasy Star uh, Al Gold takes place after Fantasy Star Online 2, and this is one of the main reasons uh, why I have that belief. This, this legend here told of uh, is sort of the main basis of that argument here. Um, and basically, this, yeah, it, it doesn't it doesn't really say everything that happened. Um, certainly, the algal system didn't get created um, during the ending of Fantasy Star Online 2, but I think there's still enough evidence to say that's exactly what happened. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and hop into this while we're waiting for the server team to bring things online here. I've I've got that on my other screen ready to go, so we're able to just. Uh, do this if necessary. Um, let me give me one moment here. I need to bring I need to bring you guys over here. I don't see chat listed. Whoops. Uh, paste. Uh, and when uh, when we get to the launch of PSU, then of course I'll then um, I'll probably reintroduce the stream at that point. But yeah, let's uh, let's go ahead and um, let's just hop right into this here. Uh, let me make sure the chat is actually working. Yep, there it is. Okay, so. Um, all right, so we're gonna go ahead and start. Chaz, we have work to do. Hurry up and get ready. And I'm gonna retitle the, uh, the title of the stream until this is actually ready to go. Uh... Uh... End of the millennium in the me meantime. Millennium in the meantime. And let me update the game as well. Now this is what you gotta do sometimes here. Update information, and there we go. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, so the, uh, the title of the stream has been updated here, um, so we're, uh, so now everything is, uh, good to go here. Alright, so, Alice here is saying, this is your first job since you joined the Hunter's Guild, you'd better put your heart into it. So, I'm not a trainee anymore. From this day on, you are a full-fledged partner. Now come on, let's go. Where are we off to this time? It's a bit far. We're going to Motavia Academy. In the town of Pieta. Wow, so we're going to the town of learning. I wonder what's happened there. Who knows? The message said just come. We'll get the details once we're there. Now, we really don't know. They say it's only going to be an hour, so this may just be a quick introduction in this game, and then I may do this as a full-on Let's Play later on. We'll have to see. I just wanted to do something different tonight, rather than, you know, just defaulting back to PSO2 while we waited for uh, for the Fantasy Star Universe servers to come up here. Um, anyway, since we're going to be there anyway, I'd sure like to tour the Academy. Is that all you can think about? Get moving or I'll leave you behind. Yeah. After Weiss 2284, monster attacks have swelled the ranks of those who call themselves hunters, but as the attacks become ever... Yeah, this text uh, crawl was always a little slow here. <laughs> uh, ever more frequent and powerful, an elite few began to wonder what is behind this outbreak, and when and how it will all end. Or how will it all end? And yeah, it's uh, good to see you both, uh, Complex Zero and uh, the Repichu. Uh, oops, I wandered around and now I've gotten separated from Alice. I've got to find her. All right, so before we do anything here, uh, I want to do this message. We're going to set that to fast. And let's go battle speed fast. And yeah, let's go ahead and create a new save. 
Now, one of the funny things about this game is it actually had a, a group chat function in here. Uh, and while this says uh, mumble right now, this is going to change eventually. So mumble, I wonder where Alice is. Uh, now, Chaz was known as Rudy in the Japanese version, and uh, Alice is known as Ryra in the uh, Japanese version. Um, about a month ago, monsters began to appear in the basement. I'm so frightened, I can't even think about my research. Are you a hunter? Are you here to exterminate the monsters? You're the hunter commissioned by the principal? A kid like you? Are you going to be able to handle it? Chaz, where have you been? Come on, let's go. I was literally a few feet in front of you there. What? You couldn't call out to me? But we have to see the principal and get the details about this commission. And the principal is right inside of here. Welcome. I'm the principal of this academy. Let's see, you must be Alice the Hunter. And you are her assistant, Chaz. Forgive me, but Chaz is a full-fledged partner of mine. Now let's get down to business. Describe the situation. Ah, about a month ago, mysterious monsters started to appear within this academy. It appears that they have made the basement their headquarters. I've since closed it off. So far, no one's been hurt, but who knows when they'll appear again. Please, I beg you to destroy all those creatures. Ah, I'd like to settle this matter discreetly. I'm counting on your reputation, Alice. No problem. You can rely on us. Although it's strange that all those monsters suddenly appeared in this academy. Usually monsters don't come into inhabited areas. Do you have any idea how this happened? How would I know? Stop asking questions. Just hurry and exterminate those monsters. Don't forget, I'm paying you dearly for your services. Something smells fishy here. That principal was hiding something. Maybe he's afraid of monsters. I think there's more to it than that. Things are starting to get interesting. Alright, so... Uh, now, at this point, we now have the talk command instead of mumble. So, if we go under talk... Are you saying that there are monsters in the basement of this academy? Hmm? Sounds like there's something behind all this. So yeah, that sometimes gives you a little extra insight, but given uh, given uh, text size limitations back in the day, there, there isn't going to be too much to it. What an oddly shaped jar. Yeah, this game has little, uh, little things like that all over. The bookcase contains many chemistry books. Here at Motavia Academy, we search for the truth of the universe. This is the largest research facility on the entire planet. What do you think? Isn't it grand? It looks like an interesting place, doesn't it, Alice? Really, it doesn't interest me one bit. If you're looking for the principal's room, it's way in the back. But recently, he's been acting strangely. I think he's scared of something. Once, there were three planets in the Algol solar system, but during the Great Collapse, the planet Parma was lost. Now only Dizolus and this planet remain. Yeah, that's, uh, that's something that's going to come to a head in uh, Fantasy Star 2, uh, which we'll eventually get to as well. Again, this is, just, uh, this is just a quick little preview here today of this game whenever we do get to it. Just trying to kill time until the servers actually come up. Apparently, a thousand years ago, there were ships that could travel through space. Today, the only thing we can do is view Dizolus through a telescope. Ah, just once, I would love to go to Dizolus. It sounds like a dream, traveling to another planet. Uh, current planet is Motavia, and uh, Samuel, uh... Uh, yeah, that's fine. Uh, no... Don't, you don't have to be here for, for everything. Of course, I put everything up on uh, VOD when I can. Uh, let's see who this is. Huh? Do I know you? Yikes! What are you doing with such lethal weapons? Get out! <laughs> How rude. Ah, there's that oddly shaped jar again. <laughs> and I think this is Chad saying something to himself. You shouldn't be opening cabinets without permission. Kind of a, um... Kind of a mix-up on the uh, typical RPG trope there. I'm studying history. 
This planet had uh, this planet has bad problems from the from the beginning. Presently, we have an abnormal climate, soil depletion, and a decreasing birth rate. It doesn't make for a promising future. This guy is too depressing. Let's get out of here. The God of Learning, Dr. Lubitz. Hmm, a person from 2,000 years ago. Yep, that is the same doctor that created the uh, spaceship for you, the Luvino. Um, which is actually what his name was back there in the original Fantasy Star, at least when it came to the, uh, to the original English translation. I'm so scared of the monsters. There's nothing I'd like more than to leave town, but the principal won't allow it. For the last year, there have been violent changes in the planet's crust as well as an abnormal outbreak of monsters. At this rate, the planet will be doomed. Hey, it's not going to do any good just moaning about it. A thousand years ago, our society was thrown into confusion by the destruction of Mother Brain. After that, Motivia sustained a direct hit by a fragment of the exploding pl planet Parma. Our civilization was almost destroyed. We call this the Great Collapse. Oh, I didn't realize you weren't students. Yeah, that uh, that event uh, effectively wiped out about 90% of the population on the planet here. And we have met up with our third companion here for this uh, journey here. Or a third, uh, third party member, rather. What? You're the hunters? Really? You don't think we can do the job? No, no, not at all. I didn't mean that. Since we have the principal's permission, let us pass. Wait, take me with you. Hmm. <laughs> and why should we? My name is Han. I am an assistant at this academy. I work for Professor Holt, who has gone to investigate Birth Valley for his research. We haven't heard from him since. So now I'm searching for the professor's whereabouts. Birth Valley? That's that mysterious place that has been called the Sacred Valley of Life. What's the connection between the valley and this current monster scare? After the investigation team, led by the professor, was reported missing, the principal barred everyone from entering Birth Valley. We're trying to get information as to what's going on, but he keeps evading the issue. And then this monster scare begins. I'll bet anything that there is some sort of connection between these incidents. Well, it's true that there is something fishy about the principal's behavior. Given the, current, uh, given the circumstances, I feel compelled to investigate the basement myself. Come to think of it, it is a bit dangerous. So, you were just waiting for us to arrive. Well, uh, yes, you catch on quick. A hundred Masetta. What? We'll take you with us for a hundred Masetta. I hope you weren't thinking of asking to tag along with us for free. Er, I can't get that kind of money from the principal. That's not my problem. Now, what are you going to do? Okay, I'll pay. And with that, we now have Han in our party. Uh, let's go ahead and check everybody's equipment here real quick before we head down. Alice has a boomerang. Chaz has two hunting knives. And Han has a dagger and a leather shield. With that, let's head into the basement. And there is one of the monsters. And they are running away. But we found others here. The Zonifalg and the Zoran Bolt. These are the two enemies we're gonna find down here in this basement. And as of right now, Han and Chaz do not have any techniques to use. Now, back in the day, I used to spend a while in this basement to the point where I would make sure that Chaz and Han were completely leveled up to the same level that Alice were uh, before I would even proceed with the game. And that's just sort of how I am, or rather how I was back in the day, but I think this time we're going to be okay if we just go straight to the end of things here. Uh, we did get a monomate from the basement. Uh, and yes, um, uh, the Rio Pichu, uh, that is exactly where they came from. Uh, now, you also notice that this game not only has a command option, but it also has this macro function. And this allows you to set up different uh, different attacks and, and basically ensure that characters go in a specific order. And that's going to come into play 
uh, later on here. And yes, this was a very advanced feature for its time back on the Sega Genesis here. Uh, for the moment, let's take a look at the actual uh, command menu here. We have the basic attack. This here is for techniques. This is for skills. This is your item pack, and this is if you want to defend. Uh, for this round, just looking at what we've got here, uh, we don't have too much that we can actually use to attack with, so we're just going to use basic attacks. Uh, no, this is technically uh, number four in the series, uh, not number three. Uh, that chest had a hundred Masetta in it. Alright, surprise attack. Uh, let's just do macros here at this point. Uh, Chaz misses attack there, but we're okay. Uh, I agree. You still have to. You still have to uh, walk back and forth if you do. If you do want to do some grinding, and in this game, you kind of do have to do that unless you're unless you know the strategy for speed runs. Uh, when it comes time, you know when we're not uh, just waiting for um, for Fantasy Star Universe Clementine servers to come back up. I'm probably actually gonna play this on the PlayStation 2 version of it because it had an option. Uh, to have a built-in uh, four times multiplier for experience in Mesetta just to speed things up for the actual uh, let's play. This is, once again, just like I said uh, before, this is just a little preview uh, until um, until the servers come up. Speaking of, what is this? Uh, we found this uh, strange room here, haven't we? Uh, what is this? And funny thing about this game, uh, if you're on the corner of something and you press into it, it's actually going to move you automatically to the side here. Uh, so you need to be aware of that. Alright, so, this appears to be the big boss of this area. Let's go ahead and fight it. It is the Iglanova. So, for this one, we are actually going to use some skills here. So, Alice, go ahead and use your Vortex. Chaz, use Earth. Earth has the ability to stun an enemy. Vortex does a higher amount of damage. Uh, Vision has the ability... Uh, actually, it's slipping my mind right now what that does here. Um, okay, Earth did not connect there. Vision increases dexterity. Alright, now, the Iglanova has the ability to produce offspring there, uh, in the form of the Xanafout, so we're gonna have to take care of those as well. Uh, Alice, um... You know what, go ahead and just use your boomerang there. Earth on the Iglanova again here, uh, because if we can stun it through Earth, then we're going to have a much better time here. And go ahead and go after the additional there. There we go, Earth connected that time. And unfortunately, it shook, uh, or rather, it shook uh, free of it immediately, but at least that bought us a little time here. Let's try Earth one more time, see if it connects again. Nice crit there, huh? And uh, Earth connected, but once again, it broke free immediately, so uh, we're just gonna have to go for the kill at this point here. Nice crit from Han, or, or from Chaz there, rather. Uh, let's keep the Vortex going here. Chaz and Han can go after the ads this time. Alright, main boss is down. We just have to mop up the last ad. And there we go. Victory. 66 experience and 60 Masetta. We did it. Chaz, you need more practice. Your swing is too slow. What? But we destroyed the monster. With my help. Sorry. Now, Han, come over here. What? What are these glass containers for? These? Hey, are you by any chance breeding monsters here? If that's the case, this monster business is no mystery after all. I, I don't know anything. It's the first time I've been in this room. I've only just learned that such a thing exists at the Academy. Um, really, it's the truth. I believe you, for now. The principal must know about these containers. He must also know the connection between this and the disappearance of Professor Holt. Yes, let's see the principal again. Come on, Chaz. Hey, don't leave me here. Alright, and so with that, we're gonna make our way out of the basement now. Got another encounter here. Uh, we'll just go ahead and run away from that one. 
Uh, there's gonna be better experience outside of this uh, place anyway. Here we are. And back up to the principal we go. What's wrong? You seem upset. Were you able to defeat those monsters? Yes, but there is something I want to ask you. What? Is it just my imagination that I saw some strange things in the basement? Ah. Uh, stop beating around the bush. Someone keeping information from me is the sixth most dangerous thing in this world. Alright, huh? Alright already. I'll tell you what I know. You are aware of the recent outbreak of a new breed of monster? Oh, yes. Thanks to the outbreak, I'm not hurting for work. Three months ago, Holt identified Birth Valley as the origin of the outbreak, and he went to investigate. And, uh, Wenny Annie Ann, thank you for, uh, tuning in here today. He says he discovered the remains of an ancient and advanced civilization. The investigation team brought back the monster breeding capsules and immediately set forth on their second investigation mis uh, investigative mission. But, not one of them came back. Yes, that's right, Han. And, despite all this, you didn't send out a rescue team and banned entry to Earth Valley. No, no. I, I was trying to send out a rescue team, but something happened? At that moment, a man who called himself Zeo appeared before my eyes. Zeo, I've heard of him, that fake magician. Ah, my dear principal of Motavia Academy. How are you doing? Who are you? My name is Zeo, Zeo the Black Magician. Do not intrude on Birth Valley. What do you mean? In the future, if you ever let anyone set foot in Birth Valley. Ah! Let me make something clear. There is no need for you to go to Birth Valley. It's related to the research team. So that's why Birth Valley's situation wasn't announced. And why you tried to keep the lid on the monster situation. But what is all this about? Remains of an ancient advanced civilization and Zeo? It seems like they're it seems like these are signs of something to come. I need to help the professor. I'm going to Birth Valley. Psst, hon. This is egg laying season for sandworms, so be careful. Uh Alice? We'll tag along for 300 Meseta plus expenses. Uh, deal. Birth Valley is to the northeast. Let's hurry. Alrighty. Ah, uh, so let's make our way out of the academy here. And out into the town proper. And really, we're just going to set off here. There really isn't too much uh, to learn here. Uh, the one thing that we will do, though, is we're going to rest at the inn real quick, just so we can get our skills back. So, 15 to set it for the evening. And there we go. Yeah, this is right at the start of the game here, uh, Engineer of Ruin. Um, and once again, we're just waiting for, uh, for uh, Marmy here to say that the Fantasy Star Universe Clementine servers are ready to go. They, they stopped the launch uh, just a minute before it was uh, supposed to happen. Uh, we're just going to macro our way through this fight here. Alright, that takes care of one of them. Of course, at this point, da uh, damage for the monsters is going to be low, so that helps us along here. And like I said before, better experience out here than there is inside the uh, the dungeon inside the academy. So, Chaz just leveled up, Han just leveled up, and uh, Han just learned the Watt technique, which uh, I need to double check the translation of that, if, if that's supposed to actually be Barda or not. Because it's very unusual for water techniques to exist. Now at this point, I'm waiting for Chaz to learn a, uh, a technique called Sue. Uh, once they learn that, I'll be able to show you the um, how the macro system works. 
Uh, let's chat with this guy here because he's got a crazy sandworm coming out of uh, out of a little farm here. It looks like this is the village of Mile, and this is our newly built sandworm ranch. What do you think? Isn't it great? This will attract a lot of tourists. Uh, but the reason we've actually stopped out uh, over here. Uh, let's see, this is the item shop. I thought there was one other. Yep, here we go. Uh, a weapon and armor shop. So, here's the weapon store. Uh, I completely agree with you, the Ripuchu. Uh, in fact, I would say, uh, if we're still running this, uh, by the time we hit, uh, Aido, uh, we're, uh, we're gonna be, uh, dealing with, uh, Sandworm or two. Actually, just a sandworm, but... <laughs> Alright, let's grab a steel sword here for Chaz. And we're gonna grab two slashers for Alice. Alright, and... That's right, the A and C button were always... Backwards for me, from what I would expect them to be. Uh, let's... Actually, wasn't there a way to fix that? Buttons? Yeah, here we go. So we can set it to... Uh, this one here should do. Alright, uh, so, let's go under Equip, Alice, you're gonna get your two slashers, that's going to increase your attack power up to 20 from 13, Chaz. Equip the Steel Sword, that'll give you four more attack power and two more defense. And with that, Han, you now get the two hunting knives. Defense goes down, but your attack goes up. And that will do it for now. Alright, moving on to the next town, because that's actually not our destination. And let's go ahead and macro our way through this fight again. definitely helping our damage output. Alrighty. They've been turned to stone. Yeah, so it's not a good situation in this town. Let's head inside Birth Valley itself and see what's going on in here. Got a monomate from that chest. And we got a flatter plant here. Let's take it out. Seems to like to spit up on us. And this is the part where damage is starting to increase a little bit here. Uh, Han, why don't you go ahead and cast Resta on Alice? And while you're at it, go ahead and uh, hit uh, Chaz as well. Now, is there something over here? I know this is not... Yeah, there is a chest over here. And there's a carbon suit inside. Alright. So, we're gonna put that on Chaz. Or, on, uh, on Han, rather. Oops, I did not mean to uh, retreat. That's uh, that's a little thing about this game. You kind of have to be careful with your inputs, just because if you're holding down and, uh, or rather, if you're holding a direction and a button, uh, and then you press a button, sometimes it'll skip over to the next option uh, when you don't intend to do that. More people turn to stone, and this looks like our destination here. Oh, Professor Holt! What on earth? An ancient curse? I can't believe someone is able to cast such a spell on this day and age. Isn't there any way to restore them? I've heard that a medicine called Alschlein is able to turn stone back to flesh. Where can we find it? I heard about it some time ago in a Motivian village. But we're talking some time ago. Which Motivian village? It's the village of Molcom, which is far south of here. 
Alright then, let's get going. Let's see, if you're going to Molcom, I'll make you a deal. Just 500 Masetta. You devil. Yeah, Alice is making bank off of Han here, no question about it. Alright, to the south we go. And we got a bunch of mini worms here. And we don't have to worry too much about these worms. It's the worms in the future that we're gonna have to worry about. Alright, so Chaz has learned Sue. Let me double check Alice, and they do indeed have Foy. So, um, so what I'm looking at right now is I'm checking the agility of each of these characters. So, Alice is at 15, Shaz is at 10, Han is at 5. Alright, so, the way macros work is they make it so that you can set up a party so that they are going to go in the order that you tell them to. Now, there is an additional system on top of macros uh, that you can do in this game called combination attacks and the way that they work is if attacks line up perfectly they are able to go off and you get a really big attack off of them and the way you can ensure that they go off is you set up a macro for them so we're gonna go in reverse order of agility here so uh, we're gonna say what we're going to say sue and we're gonna say foy and that's gonna be macro b here so now, let's see if we can get into a fight here. Crawlers, that's a good battle. Let's go ahead and do Macro B. Now everything goes off at the same time, and that gives us the Tri-Blaster attack. Yeah, this was a very advanced game for its time. And let's go ahead and do it again! Tri-Blaster! And here we have Molcom. And let's uh, talk to this guy here, named Rune, or Thray in the Japanese version. Uh, we're actually pretty close to a town, so we'll be able to refill technical points uh, really quick here. Uh, so, Rune. Hey, Alice. Long time no see. Alice, do you know this guy? From a long time ago. Is Shorty here your current companion? He's still a kid. Watch what you say. Stop it, you two. Yeah, these two are gonna fight constantly. More importantly, Rune, what's going on? This is all the handiwork of Zeo. Zeo? I bet the person who turned the people of Zima into stone is also... Well, your brain seems to work a little bit. You... Cut it out. It seems that everywhere we go, it's always Zeo. Who is this Zeo? I'm not sure. With the town destroyed, how are we going to find Alshline? You're looking for Alshline? In that case, you'd better go to Tano. Tano? Let's see, from here, it's kind of far. First travel east to the village of Krupp, and from there, if you go north, you'll find a valley that leads to Tano. We don't have to pass by Krupp, do we? Why? Uh, let's just head straight towards Tano. Alice? I haven't decided yet. I'm going to invite myself to join your group. I've got some business there, too. Not so fast. We'd enjoy your company. Alice? Good. We're all set. And Shorty, try not to get in the way. Stop calling me Shorty! My name is... Chaz, that was what you said your name was, right? Hmm, what a stupid name. Alright, I uh, just got an update from Marmy here on the Clementine server. Uh, say they, they say they got everything sorted, and they're going to make a pass and attempt to open the server in 25 minutes. So that's going to be at the top of the hour here. So uh, we, will, uh, we will see how, uh, how things go at that point. Alice, I think he's going to be more trouble than he's worth. <laughs> I won't get in anyone's way. You already have. Uh, I'm a little uneasy about our destination. 
Alright, so Rune has joined the party, which means we need to take a look at their status here. They joined at level 17, so they are quite a bit high, uh, quite a bit more experienced than other characters. Uh, their agility and dexterity is above everybody else. So, we're going to create a new macro here. And we're going to start with Rune. And we're going to set him to use the Hewan skill. And then we're going to do reverse pattern here. Watt from Han. Uh, Sue from Chaz. And Foy from Alice. And that becomes our new AoE uh, macro. Uh, I'm sure they did, and it's partly because we're... It's partly because he's going to drop out and then rejoin later on in the quest. Yeah, so that's a pretty powerful AoE that, uh, that Rune has there. Alright, we have arrived in Krupp. And let's go ahead and stay at the inn so we can recover our stats. And now, if I remember correctly, over here... Han! Considering that you are disinherited, you sure have some gall to step into this house. You don't help in the family business, you just study. What use is that? Huh, right now, the whole planet is in serious danger. I want to help with the power of science. That's why I'm studying. Yeah, so uh, Han has family issues, and that's why he didn't want to pass by town, but we're going to talk to his mom anyway here. Han, it's so... it's good to see you home. Your pa goes on like that, but really he's very proud of you. I know, Ma, but my feelings won't change. Yeah, so the family business is actually an item store here. Han's pa talks like that, but it's thanks to Han sending us that the scientific literature that he has completed that a rural place like this is able to sell such splendid weapons. Uh, if anything, at this point, though, I want to head into the item shop. Or the tool shop, as they call it here. Uh, we're going to pick up some of the basic necessities at this point. So we're going to grab a telepipe. And an escape pipe. Another pipe gets us uh, to the nearest town. Escape pipe allows us to get out of the dungeon. Uh, and we'll also grab ourselves some monomates. And we'll also grab a few antidotes as well, just in case anybody happens to get poisoned along the way. Because we are starting to get to that point in the game. And with that, let's get out of town, and let's head on up towards Krupp. The entrance is blocked. No sweat, this should be a cinch. Everybody stand back. Flaylee! Wow. Shall we go? art he just used. I've never seen it before. The technique's different, too. <laughs> I'm not surprised you've never seen it before. This is what they call magic. Magic? Uh, yeah, telepipes were brought back in uh, PSO 1 and 2. Uh, Fantasy Star Universe was different because you had those teleport crystals at the start of each area instead. Let's see, this is going to dead-end us here, but there is a chest that I wanted to pick up that has an antidote as well. And we've got a carrion crawler here. Macro B. And we're pretty much just going to macro B our way all the way into here. Hey, retry player. Um, so, what's new today is Fantasy Star Universe Clementine is coming up. Uh... It, uh, they had to delay the launch initially here, uh, so we hopped over to uh, End of the Millennium here temporarily, but uh, that is going to be coming up in about 18 minutes from now, supposedly, so we will uh, we will see how that turns out. Oh yes, and there's another combination attack. Blizzard, if you combine Hewan with 
uh, Watt technique uh, that uh, that gives you another combination attack. Uh, but for that one to work, uh, you do kind of need um, you do kind of need uh, characters to line up with their attacks correctly, and I was not expecting that to be honest. All right, uh, surprise attack. There's another Blizzard. This game came out in '94, if I if I remember correctly. Let me double check that. '94 in the U.S. Uh, Fantasy Star. Uh, end of the Millennium. That came out in 1993, actually. But yeah, 1993, December 17th, 1993 in Japan. February 1995 in North America, actually. Okay, so I had that wrong then. Supposedly it's an hour. We're gonna see once they actually do try to bring up the servers uh, in uh, in just a little bit here. All right, we got sand newts here. Now here's the thing. Uh, this is actually a point of the game where I would actually recommend grinding for a good 15 to 30 minutes if you're able to. Uh, just because you do have rune here and you do have the ability to use the tri blaster as well. Uh, having a having a uh, having a, uh, a set of AOEs like that is is basically perfect for grinding. Uh, and uh, happy Halloween to you too, retry player. Um, uh, looks like the combination got broken here, so something happened really crazy there. Not uh, it looks like even Rune didn't go off there. 300 it from that chest. Let's keep going. Okay, that's probably what happened. Uh, Han, uh, or rather, Rune ran out of uh, ran out of uh, skill points for healing. All right, and let's keep this going. Uh, so now we are out of AoE, so let's hope we get to the end of this, uh, of this dungeon quickly here, or else we're just gonna have to do macro A. And in fact, there's the exit, so that was perfectly timed there. Alright, so we have arrived at Tano. Uh, now given the, uh, limited time that we've got here, um, in terms of trying to, uh, in terms of when the Fantasy Star Universe servers are gonna come up here, supposedly, we've only got 16 minutes, or 15 minutes now, actually. So, we're actually not going to spend any time grinding, we're just going to uh, try to get ourselves over to the, uh, to the leader's area, right over here. I'm the information monger, Grandfather Doran. What exactly do you want to ask? Is it about the secret of refining titanium? No. You want to know why the path to this village is blocked by a rock? No. Then do you want to... Then do you want the measurements of that famous and beautiful hunter, Alice Brandgwen, also known as the Eight-Stroke Warrior? Sure, let's go ahead and do that. Now you're talking. Starting from the top, 36, 20... And he earned that one. No, ouch! What are you doing? How dare you strike me without warning? Huh? Yikes, Alice Brandgwen! You blabbing old fart. Do you tell every single fool who comes here with my measurements? Uh, oh, help me! Ah, uh, Rune! It's you, Rune. Please help me. You don't change, do you, old man? Please, excuse him, will you, Alice? The old man doesn't have any bad intentions. That's why I put up with it. Grandfather Joran, I came to retrieve the item I entrusted in your care. Also, these people are looking for Alshlein. Ah, if that's... If what you want is Ausschlein, feel free to take whatever you need. It's in the back of the basement warehouse out back. Go help yourselves. Thank you. Alice, let's go. Oh, wait. That place is unused right now, so it may be a teensy bit dangerous. Grizz, will you help these guide? Uh, or uh, will you help? Will you guide these people? Um, Grizz is known as Pike in the Japanese version. My pleasure. And this is the first time uh, in this series uh, that the Motavians ever actually joined the uh, joined the player party. My name is Grizz. 
Nice to meet you. Well, I have some business with Grandfather Doran here, so I'll say so long here. Oh yeah, Pipsqueak. I've had enough of you. Don't get any silly thoughts. Like taking on Zeo into that little head. Huh? Guys? At this stage of the game, you're no match for him. You'd think Rune had just broken the fourth wall there. Maybe our paths will cross again. Alice? Yeah? Take care. Me? Taking on Zeal? Thanks, Rune. Yep, and so with that, our party assembles. Hello, Pike. And goodbye, Rune. So, our AoE is gone. Uh, but if we go under macro now, we can see Grizz is all set to go with an attack just in case. Alright, we got a bunch of stalls over here. Oh, it's a Parmenian. We don't have anything to sell to you. Here we go. Here we have the weapon store. And we have a lot of stuff that we could pick up here. Uh, let's go ahead and grab a couple of daggers here. And a couple of Titan Slashers. I'm gonna hold off on uh, anything new for uh, Chazlo. Titan Slasher and Titan Slasher. That gives Alice a nice boost in damage. And they're gonna get the same for Han here. Now, where was that armor shop? This looks like food, I think. He's glaring at me. Let's move on. Here we go, armor store. Yeah, so it, things are starting to get expensive, so this is another reason why I would actually recommend grinding up for about 15 to 20 minutes before uh, you move on to the next dungeon in most circumstances. Uh, in this case, though, uh, all we can really do is uh, pick up... Uh, let's see, let's grab a Titan Helm for Chaz. And then, does Han already have a circlet? Let's put that helmet on. And then, he has a leather band. So, let's go ahead and grab that circlet. Alright, Han, circlet, gives you one extra defense power. Alright, so we are headed to the back of this place now. Uh, which, if I remember correctly, is over here. Uh, let's see. Um, retry to answer your question. Uh, this is... It's not official in any way. It's, uh, it's an unofficial server. Um, but this is the one where there should be no more wipes in terms of character data. Not mean to leave. Oof, it's rusted shut. Oh, there's a little trick to opening this door. Just hold here, like so, and then one, two, three, lift! It opened. Great, let's go in. Alright, so I'm hoping that we can make our way to the destination of this, uh, of this dungeon uh, within the next uh, five or so minutes here. Uh, if we can, great. Uh, otherwise, um, at that point, we're going to uh, we're going to uh, stop. And yeah, this is exactly why you actually want to grind up here. So, uh, or rather, in the in the previous uh, area. So, uh, yeah, this is uh, this is a really interesting area, <laughs> to say the least. The good news, at least, is, uh, experience is high here. Um... So... We're gonna get out of here real quick. We're gonna spend a little time at the end just to get everybody back up on their feet. And then we're gonna make, uh, one more run at it here just to see if we can, uh, if we can get down to the, uh, Ashley.
All right, and oh, let me actually take us outside on that save. And I think the plan is just going to be run, run, run. <laughs> to see if we can make it to the end here. Uh, okay, I can see the uh, stairs down over there. Let's see what we got in this chest here. Just 300 meseta, okay. At least we're getting lucky with, um, with running away, but we'll see how long that lasts. It's been some time. I'm trying to remember where everything is here. Okay, we got a Titan crown there. I might as well put that on Alice just in case. Nothing in there. Alright, so where are the stairs down supposed to be? I'm trying to remember where they are. I guess they're going to be in the uh, southeast corner then, since that's the only place we haven't looked yet. I think that's them over there, actually. Still getting lucky with, uh, running away here. Yep, here we go. Uh, we have a sealed door here. But, there is another path to get inside there. Oops, I do not want to attack. Oh, surprise attack against us. And there's the Ash Line. So this is the Ash Line. Okay, let's hurry and return to Zima and help those people out. Um, do you think I can go along? My own town was destroyed by Zeo. I couldn't save my father or my mother. One way or another, I need to get my revenge. Hey, Grizz. We're not necessarily making this journey for the purposes of defeating Zeo. But didn't that tall guy who was with you say something like that? Oh, that? He was just arbitrarily saying stuff. Either way, I can't stay in this town forever. I'm coming along even if you refuse to take me. Grizz? Come on, Chaz, there's nothing, to wor uh, there's nothing wrong with that. Grizz could be quite a help, and after all, no one knows what's going to happen from here on out. Great. Once again, good to be working with you. Yeah, whatever. Let's get moving. Why doesn't Han call out to Alice that he she's not charging Grizz? I never understood that. Alright, so, uh, we had just picked up the ash line, and we got an escape pipe here, so let's go ahead and use that to get out of this dungeon. Uh, and with that... Let's see, we got 582 Masetta. I think at this point, let's see, we did pick up a, um, a telepipe earlier. Let's go ahead and use that, and we're going to go over to, actually, first let me uh, hit the uh, hit the in real quick, so I can get uh, everybody's health back up. Whoops. Oh, I hit the wrong button. <laughs> okay, everybody's health is back up then. <laughs> Never mind. Item, uh, telepipe, use, Zima. And hey, everybody is uh, brought back from stone. 
Oh, why it's you, Han. By golly, this is some place. There are just tons of relics from an earlier civilization all over the place. Uh, you've come at the right time. Uh, you too. Professor Holt, this is no time for that kind of thing. Do you know... Do you know you were turned, to, turned into stone by Zeo? Hmm? Oh, really? Well, I'm here... Uh, I am here now. As good as new, so not to worry. Alright, let's reopen the investigation immediately. Han. Yes, sir. Go back to the Academy. Give them a report on the state of affairs here. Er, yes, sir. Good. We're off further into Birth Valley. What a strange old man. Oh well, at least we've settled one problem. I'm so sorry, he didn't even say a word of thanks. Well, he's just that kind of guy. Oh, don't worry about that, Han. Well, I'm kind of tired after getting this job done. Let's take it easy today, eh, Chaz? Okay. I'm going to return to the Academy. I've got to report about what's been happening till now. Okay, what about Grizz? You talking about me? I'm going off to conquer Zeo, even if that means me alone. Let's not be so rash. I don't care whether it's rash or not. I've already made up my mind. We've come to a good breakpoint with, uh, what with one job done. Normally at this junction we would go back to the town of Aido, where the guild is located. Ah! What was that? Someone's screaming. And Zant, yeah, I, I completely agree. It was a great addition to the game. How are we going to be able to get in with that creature block in the way? We'll have to destroy it. Now? Alright, so another Iglanova, the first boss we came across in the game. Uh, but we are at least a little bit stronger at this point here. Uh, let's do Vortex. Uh, Chaz, do Earth. Uh, Han, uh, why don't I have you attack with what? And then Grizz, you can just attack. So Earth did not attack, so we didn't get the uh, we didn't get the um, uh, the stun. So let's do the uh, Tri Blaster now. There we go. Hmm? How is it now, Alice? Well, it's a little better now. It's a curse. It's because we violated the sacred area that something like this is happening. A curse. I wonder what's further inside. What's going on? The professor is still in there. Ah! Er, Alice? I'll keep it to a thousand, Masetta. M m my wedding fund! Oh, poor Han. <laughs> Alright, what do we have in town here? Uh, let's see. So, weapon store. Uh, this is actually some older stuff, uh, looks like. Uh, and then we've got a graphite suit here that Han can use. I'm gonna hold off on that. There's gonna be, uh, more stuff coming in the, in the near future. Uh, I do want to heal up, uh, everybody so they get their, uh, technical points back, uh, from, uh, that fight. And with that, let's save. And let's head inside. Now, we might need to make uh, multiple trips on this one. Uh, depending upon how... Uh, depending upon how much damage we're taking in, uh, in these battles. Because, um, again, we're kind of low level right now. And I, I intentionally didn't grind with uh, Rune in the party. Um, so we'll see how things go. All 
right, flatter plant. And uh, every minute or so, I am trying uh, to get back into the Fantasy Star Universe Clementine servers here, but no luck so far. Ah, the monsters from the Deaths are... Professor Holt has gone into the depths and has not returned. Maybe it's too late. No. And inside a cave, we have a high-tech facility. Yikes, what's that? We we're gonna die. Stop cowering. Men are such cowards. It's nothing. That... that's true. Alright, what do we have here? There's some writing here. Sterilization treatment completed. Please follow the line on the floor. Okay, nothing over there. And we've got a new evolution of the enemies we were previously seeing. Uh, let's try a Tri-Blaster here and see how this goes. Yeah, everybody is taking a lot of damage here. And Grizz got poisoned, but at least we did find a f an antidote after that fight. No, I don't want to discard. Uh, use it on Grizz. And Han, go ahead and rest of yourself. As well as Alice. Oh, you're right, I did use a, a, uh, a monoweight on myself. Yeah, that's that bug I was saying uh, before, and that if you hold if you hold the direction down uh, while you're moving, um, uh, or rather, if you ooh, that's not good. Uh, if you hold a uh, direction down uh, on the controller as you're uh, as you're selecting something uh, with a button, uh, it will. Um, it will um, not work correctly, uh, and instead move on to the next uh, to the next point. All right, uh, I'm gonna recommend we just dish out as much damage as we can here. So what for you? And I'm not gonna do crash. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. Um, uh, run away. Agreed. Yeah, that's uh, that's a nice touch that uh, that they did instead of uh, but I think in uh, Dragon Quest it's uh, it's the gri it's the uh, the uh, uh, what is it the the casket I think. All right, so we're gonna get out of here, at least for the moment, or we'll try to anyway. Uh. Okay, Han is down. Alright, uh, Chaz, you're gonna have to rescue yourself. And that's pretty much all the healing I can do for the moment here. So, we're gonna make our way out of the dungeon here. Oh, server's back up. Okay. Alright, so... Uh, when we last left off, uh, we were in the process of trying to get out of, uh, Birth Valley because a couple of our party members had gone down. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that right now before we lose the rest of the party. There we go. Uh, and let's take a quick trip to the inn.
that done, let's head back inside. And I'm going to recommend that we, uh, at this point, uh, given that uh, we are kind of at the uh, whims of the of the server maintenance here, and given that I really wasn't expecting us to need to come back to this, uh, at this point we are going to need to gain a few levels for us to actually be able to make this work here. Uh, if we're going to have a prolonged ex uh, uh, maintenance here. Alright, so we are back inside the bio plant here. And uh, that was the same message that they gave the last time here. Uh, we're just going to hang out uh, here in the front. And we're going to use the Tri Blaster, hopefully. There we go. And we're going to use that to level ourselves up for a bit here. Uh, the fact that Han uh, was almost completely taken down there, actually, though, uh, makes me want to... Let's see, I want to put that leather shield on him. Just so he can get his defenses up. Alice, I know you're poisoned. I'm not too concerned, given what we're trying to do here. There we go, Tri-Blaster. And Grizz has leveled up. Good. Flatter plants, I'm not too concerned with. We don't need to do the uh, Tri-Blaster on them. And, uh, Engineer, I, I think you're talking about uh, back over in Sleeping Warriors, right? I do need to heal Alice up. I'm trying to remember, how much does Anti cost? Oh, that's only 2 uh, TP. I'll... Okay, we can, we can use that then. Uh, yeah, I think you're right about, the, about that drop being there. Uh, but I think it was like, what, on like the S rank level or something like that, I think. Let's cast Resta on Alice and Han. And then uh, we're going to use a Monomate on Chaz. There we go. Alright, let's do the Tri Blaster again. Chaz, we can go ahead and have him rest to himself. Alright, let's see how this goes. Ooh! Okay, that's not good. Let's run. Uh, because now we can't use our Tri Blaster anymore. As I said, be, uh, as I said um, previously um, with this game, uh, I typically like to do uh, a bit of grinding early in the game. Uh, but obviously, uh, since uh, we don't have room with us anymore, uh, that's not really an option here. Yeah, if it wasn't there, it was going to be out in, um, out on New Day somewhere, because I remember that there was a Ruins out there as well. Okay, Alice just leveled up as well.
All right, and let's head back in now. I'm hoping maybe we can step at least a little bit inside now. Uh, if anything, I'm going to try running through uh, most of the encounters that we have in there. Just because our luck seems to have been pretty good in running away so far. And if we can make it to the end of this dungeon, that would be great. And that's the same message again. Now, we got the chest on the right side last time. Okay, yeah, we were, uh, we were able to get, run, uh, get away from that group. Now, I think, if I remember correctly, to the left is a dead end. But, I think there was also something nice to pick up over there. Uh, graphite crown, okay. So that'll be for Alice. That'll give her four more defense power, so that's nice to have. Okay. For this one, why don't we go ahead and see if we can challenge this. Uh, let's do Earth on it. As well as Vision. And uh, Grizz, why don't you try your Crash Attack? That has the chance of one-hit KOing. Okay, the Earth connected. No dice on the crash. And it is still stunned. Nice. Okay. So, we can pretty much just... Oh! Alright, there's that bug I was telling you about previously. If you keep a button held down for a direction, uh, it can sometimes uh, uh, lock you in uh, and uh, move on to the next thing. Alright, this is... Starting to not look good here, so... Okay, try blaster Alright, that got us out of that one. Alright, we need to heal up after that. Uh, there's some writing here. West section unauthorized entry prohibited beyond this point. It's completely sealed. I wonder if it collapsed from the earthquake or something. Yeah, so nothing else on this side. So we're going to make our way over to the east side now. Alright, we have another surprise attack on this guy, so... Uh, Earth... Uh, let's do what? And Grizz, go ahead and crash again. Okay, we got the stun. Still no luck on the, uh, on the crash. Uh, if I remember correctly, that had a low chance to hit anyway. Good crit from uh, Chaz there. Alright, they are no longer stunned. Vortex. Let's do Earth. Watt. And attack. And they are stunned once again. Uh, it's good that we're getting these stuns because that prevents it from uh, spawning any adds. Uh, okay, so we used up most of our resources on that last one. Let's just uh, go ahead and run away from this one. Uh, those guys look kind of like the uh, fishmen from the original Fantasy Star there. <laughs> There's some writing here. Elevator E3 to the central block. Oh, 
Oh, and I just realized, uh, whoops. Uh, I just realized I haven't, um, I haven't updated the, uh, message, uh, for the, uh, for the title of this here. Uh, so let me do that real quick. Uh, let's see. Here we go. That should take care of that. And, okay. Uh, we are going to run again. And run once more. That's not good. They got a surprise attack on us here. But at least we were able to get away. Uh, I want to save our technical points if I can. So, Alice, go ahead and use a monomate. Okay again. Is there anything over here? Ceramic sword. Uh, so that'll be for Chaz. And that, that's actually a pretty good, uh, attack boost. It basically doubles his attack power, gives him five extra defense as well. close to the end here. Yep, here we go. Professor, thank goodness you're safe. Oh, it's you, Han. You came to rescue me. Good job. Well, it seems pretty safe here. But how on earth were you able to escape on your own? Well, you see, this person here came to my rescue. Who? Welcome, everyone. Uh, welcome, everybody. I'm glad to have you here. What? Are you? My name is Rika. Pleased to meet you. Rika? Those ears. What on earth are you? Uh, just for reference, uh, Rika in the Japanese version was, na uh, was known as Fall. Uh, F-A-L. And uh, what is this place? This is the bio plant. It's a research facility for bioengineering created by a thousand-year-old civilization. Th this is... From an ancient, advanced civilization? Is it still operational? Oh yes! What's more, this isn't the only one. There are many such systems that have maintained their functionality. And it's thanks to these systems which control Multivia's climate, soil, and ecolog uh, ecology systems that the human race was able to avoid total destruction after the Great Collapse. Really? Is that true? that's the case, how come this recent environmental destruction is taking place? Even though the control system is still functioning, it can barely maintain the minimal conditions for your existence. Even now, this system is starting to run out of control. Chaz, do you understand? What? Uh, well, uh... Then, does that mean the recent increase of biomonsters is coming from here? Yes, unfortunately so. If you want to know more, talk to Seed. He's over there. Seed. So, where's this person called Seed? He's right in front of you. What's going on? I am Seed, the control computer for this bio plant. Wow, an artificial intelligence. I, I can't.
can't believe it. That's right, this is no exception. Check my status here. The system is beyond my control. It is continuously breeding harmful monsters. Just as I thought. If we leave each of these systems running out of control, along with the monster problem, we will have abnormal climate conditions and violent changes in the planet's surface. Motavia will be destroyed. What shall we do? The only thing we can do is shut down the system. But st stopping the system itself will cause problems. We won't be able to maintain the ecosystem. That's better than, than the system ruining everything. But these systems are spread out all over the place. Don't worry, all we have to do is, sh uh, is to shut down the plant Nervous, which supplies energy to each system. That will shut them all down. First, please rescue the control android Demi. She's the only one that can stop Nervous. Rescue? What do you mean rescue? Right now, Demi is being held hostage by a man named Zeo. Zeo again? Who on earth is this Zeo? I myself don't know what Zeo is all about. So all we have to do is rescue this Demi, right? Where is she being held hostage? She is with Zeo. And the name of that castle is Zeo's Fort. Is that by any chance beyond the quicksand of Mile? Oh, that sinister looking castle north of Zima. It's a pretty long way to go. But having heard all this, we have no choice. <laughs> it's been a long time since I felt so excited. And while we're at it, why don't we get rid of that disgusting character Zeo? Hey, that's the spirit. So, will uh, you will go. Please take Rika with you. Who is this girl anyway? She seems curiously knowledgeable about these matters. She is my child. Are you saying that she is an artificial life form? That's right. She is a product of a thousand years of improvement on genetic information. From a prototype prior to the Great Collapse. I have also given her a basic education. She will surely be a great help to you. Alright, Seed, we'll take her. Thank you! I've always wanted to be able to see the outside world. Rika, take care. Okay, let's get going to Zeo's fort. I must first go back to the academy. We have to spread this information as much as possible. There is only one way for me to stem the outbreak of monsters. Now that I have sent into the world the fruit of a thousand years worth of research, there are no obstacles to its execution. We're outdoors! Wow, I didn't know the sky was so blue! These flowers! They're so beautiful! How lovely! Being cooped up all this time underground, everything must be so novel. Uh, so novel. What was that? An explosion! Seed! Riga, you must carry on the will of Seed. You can't look back now. I know. Alright, and so with that, Rika has joined the party, and that brings us up to our maximum number of party members at five. Uh, now, Rika, as of right now, she has the rest of technique, um, but there are other things that she will be able to do in the near future as well. Let's move on to the next town here. And we've got a couple of Scorpius here. Ooh, that's not good. All 
right, Chaz leveled up, and then Marika leveled up twice there because of the experience uh, that they gained. Uh, let's head for the inn, uh, so we can uh, get Alice back up. Uh, now, this place is a little bit different than other places that we're going to find because there really isn't much of a uh, presence of uh, item shops or anything like that. Uh, most of the back side of this town has been destroyed here, as you can see. And if we head up to the north here, or rather to the northwest, we can find some wreckage. Uh, now we got the preemptive attack on this one, so we'll go ahead and use the Tri-Blaster here. Uh, that got everybody a good amount of experience. I'm trying to remember where we need to go in here, but it should be fairly straightforward for the most part. Rika leveled up again, and she learned Double Slash. Inside of here, we have a chest, it looks like. Uh, that had a dimate inside. Uh, now, I think I'm gonna keep up that strategy of running, uh, at least the, uh, until we've explored most of this place. Okay, so actually, that did not work. Alright, uh, in that case, let's see if we can get the uh, Tri-Blaster off. Nope. Uh, but we might be able to at least, uh, take, uh, the rest of this group down. Now, one thing I will note, uh, about how this game works is, uh, if a member of your party happens to go down, uh, but your party still defeats the enemies, you don't lose any of the experience, but instead what happens is it gets distributed of the, uh, amongst the party members that are still alive. Okay, Alice just went down. Uh, Rika, can you heal up Chaz, please? Alright, let's stay at the inn here. I'm thinking, given that we're still struggling here, let's make our way over to the next town instead, where we actually will find some upgrades for everybody. Uh, the question I have, and since it's been so long since I've last played this, I can't remember how much those are actually going to cost here. Uh, now... I think the good one was back here? Alright, so this is the weapons store. We already got the ceramic sword for Chaz. Uh, there's a struggle axe for uh, Grizz that we could get, but I'm not worried about that. We could upgrade Rika's weapons. But I don't think that's the right move here either. I think we need more defenses. Yeah, here we go. So... Uh, in the best of circumstances, we would uh, have ceramic mail for everybody. Uh, but that's obviously not going to be reasonable. What I will say, though, is since Alice is out front uh, of the group, that's probably going to be the best place for us to uh, go for an upgrade. Um, there is also this graphite suit that might help. Let's see, uh, does Han have, it, have anything on him? Uh, like that right now. Uh, he has a carbon suit on. So actually the better deal here may be to spread out some of this. So let's say we grab a graphite suit for Han. And then how about a ceramic helmet 
for Chaz. Okay, and then for Han, there we go, that's a decent amount of defense increase. So hopefully we'll be able to uh, stay alive a little bit longer uh, over by that wreckage now. Uh, there is also this store here as well, uh, but if I remember correctly, uh, this, what they sell in here isn't as good. Uh, let's see, yeah, this is all Titan stuff, so it's a little bit better than what... Some of them are using, but it's it's not top tier, essentially. And then this is a weapon store. This is a weapon store. And this is a weapon store as well. Uh, once again, these are pretty much selling just stuff that we would have been able to pick up previously. Uh, while the uh, while the store to the north is sort of the top tier stuff right now. All right, let's make our way back over to that wreckage so we can keep exploring there. Uh, we can also... Let's see, I don't think this group was that strong. Yeah, this group is a, a bit weaker than the, uh, than the other ones we were running into. Uh, we don't need to go to town, we need to go to the wreckage. Uh, wreckage. Alright, and it's been about half an hour uh, so far. I'm not seeing any word from uh, uh, Marm on the uh, status of the server here yet. Uh, but hopefully we will get some sort of word soon. Alright, Grizz and Rika leveled up. That's not good. The, the uh, whistle there uh, managed to crit Han. Alright, so back out to town then. Now, something else I will note is, uh, as we continue to fight in here, uh, as long as we manage to take some enemies out, we are always going to be uh, getting uh, additional Meseta, so uh, as uh, characters are leveling up here, uh, we're also getting assets that we can use uh, towards the purchase of other uh, gear uh, as we continue inside of here. Uh, Resta on yourself, Han. Now, I believe there's also... Let's see, it was Zen that we got from Alice a little bit ago here, so let's also set up one more macro at this point. Uh, I want to go, uh, before we do this, I want to go under status, 1715, and then I'm just looking through the list here of agility. Yeah, Rika typically is going to go first. So what we're going to do here is we're going to set up a new macro. And we're going to have Rika go first, and then we're going to go ch uh, Chaz. Uh, oh, actually, that combo would not work because he doesn't know Foy yet. Okay, never mind. Once he learns Foy, uh, then uh, we'll be able to set that macro up. Let's get some healing out. Oh. 
Rico levels up again. Let's heal up Han and heal up Alice. Hey there, uh, Heeson. Uh, how you doing today? Chaz leveled up, but I uh, got the uh, Highness spell instead of uh, Foy. Nice, glad to hear that. Okay, we got a Ceramic Shield and 1500 Meseta. I'm gonna grab that Ceramic Shield and I'm gonna put that right onto... Oh, actually, he can't use it, apparently. Yeah, Han is able to use some shields, but not all of them. Uh, we could put the ceramic shield on uh, Chaz, but that would weaken him. Technically, Alice could take a shield, though. And that might be the better move to make at this point here. Uh, given that... Uh, we're just using the three of them for Tri-Blaster, essentially. Alright, uh, so at this point now, we're gonna have to, uh, retreat since we're out of, uh, technical points for Chaz. Take a look at um, at what Rika can do with that Devil Slash of hers. So yeah, with that attack, she's able to attack four times in the same round. That is a really good move for uh, for attacking bosses when she's not on healing duty. I think I'm going to go back to this strategy of running, uh, except when we come across a big group and I'll try to take them out, uh, if we can. Yeah, that's a bigger group there. And there we go. Uh, now Alice is uh, not taking so much damage here, so uh, we got a better shot at uh, being able to get through this place now. Okay, there's another big group. These enemies are called Whistles. Uh, back in the day, I remember back on Fantasy Star 2, uh, whistle hunting uh, was one of the uh, one of the big things that you would do in that game uh, as soon as you started uh, basically the second chapter of the story. Uh, and you went whistle hunting because it was the only thing that we uh, uh, that you would encounter while you were out on the water uh, in that game. Uh, not Chaz. Let's give this to Han. Uh, let's see. All right, this is an upgraded group. It looks like. And 
and Rika levels up. That's that good. Han went down. Okay, try to finish this group off. Okay, Alice and Grizz levels up. Uh, that it is. Uh, it is a really good track from this game. Um, I'm trying to remember how much further we have to go in here, because it might still be worth it to uh, finish up here. Uh, because I know that this was one place that actually did not have a boss inside of it. Uh, instead, this uh, this place had story significance. Yeah, here we go. This... there are lights flashing. I know what this is. Uh, move over, Chaz. Wow, pretty impressive. It's a pretty hard security code to break, but... there. We can now access the main computer's memory. What's this? Look, it says that this is the spaceship that escaped from Parma a thousand years ago. What? Really? But Parma exploded a thousand years ago? Oh, you know about that. Yes, I learned about it at the Academy. Parma, the first planet of the Algo Solar System, was destroyed in After Weiss 1284, when the artificial satellite Garia uh, crashed into it. Today, only vestige, uh, the only vestige of Parma is the asteroid belt. But there were people that were able to escape! According to the records, just before the explosion, some people were able to escape. This spaceship was damaged and became trapped in orbit around Motovia. They floated around in, the, in space until all the humans aboard died, but the, cu uh, but the computer was able to sustain itself with its self-repairing mechanisms. They all died? According to the flight chart, the orbit slowly decayed over the last thousand years. The ship finally crashed here. Then that means all the Parmians perished. Wait, this is not the only ship that escaped from Parma. It seems that other similar ships were able to escape. Successfully. Most of them landed either in Motavia or Dizolis. But it looks like some of them went right out of this Algol solar system. So, um, what this is referencing here is actually uh, Fantasy Star 3 Generations of Doom. Uh, where the Elisa 3 uh, is a ship that looks exactly like this. And it basically got flung outside of the uh, Algol Slower system. Uh, and depending upon uh, how things progressed in that story based on your choices, uh, you could have ended up near Earth, or you could have ended up near uh, several other planets. Um, so it's um, it's uh, it's good to see that they uh, that they referenced that in this game here. I can't get an accurate number, but it looks like some tens of ships. So they're still continuing their flight somewhere in the universe. So yeah, this this was a place uh, designed more for uh, story significance uh, and uh, sort of a um, a reference to the uh, to the prior game that had come out. Okay, we cannot escape here. All right, we really don't have a good way to get any AOEs off in here. Oh, actually, Alice does have Zan. If I take that back, let's...
Let's do the following. Rika, go ahead and heal up Alice. Ooh. Go ahead and use Xan again. And heal Alice once again. And we'll just attack. Okay, that group is done. Alright, we need to heal up once again. I do have an escape pipe, but I think there was something else in here I wanted to check for real quick. Hopefully we can get to that uh, before we run into trouble here. Alice retreated. And here it is. There was a ceramic mail in here as well. Uh, so that will also give us a nice defense boost as well. Uh, with that, we can go ahead and put the Titan Slasher back on Alice. Alright, uh, with that, let's go ahead and use that escape pipe. That teleports us right outside of the wreckage. And let's stay at the end to heal up. Just going after Chaz here, aren't they? All right, back to Aido, and let's once again hit up the armor shop since we have the funds to get yet another upgrade. That's ceramic mail this time. So, uh, Chaz, you can go ahead and take the uh, ceramic mail this time. Uh, that'll be a nice increase for you since you're still wearing leather cloth as your armor. Yeah, Rika has some decent stuff on her already. But, what I would also say is we're probably traveling along with a little bit too much stuff at this point in terms of old armor, so... Uh, let's uh, get rid of some of this here. So, there goes the dagger, the boomerang, titan dagger, leather cloth, a hunting knife, hunting knife, slasher, slasher, Leather helmet, leather band, titan crown, steel sword, uh, carbon suit, titan helmet, uh, titan dagger, Hang on to the leather cloth. Alright, and that now lets us pick up yet another piece of ceramic mail here. And I would say let's give that to the healer of the group.
All right, I'm trying to remember if we can actually sleep in our uh, in our home here. Let's let's see. Ah, we're finally home. Shall we take it easy for the rest of the day? Okay, let's be up bright and early tomorrow. Yep, we are able to get some free rest in here. And that restores everybody's health up. Alright, we have a cave over here. Let's go ahead and step inside. As you can see, even with those upgrades that we've uh, that we've just put on, uh, everybody's still taking a ton of damage here, and that's that's just how much of a uh, of a uh, damage increase there is between areas in this game. We'll retreat from that group. That's a big group. Rika has leveled up and learned Sanner. Uh, Sanner uh, is a uh, is an a it's an agility increase. At least I think it is. I think it was Shift that was, uh, the attack increase, uh, a.k.a. Shifta. Ooh, sneak attack. We will retreat from that group. Got Tri Blaster off. That takes them all out. Chaz level up and learned uh, Ryuka, which is a uh, teleportation spell that brings you back uh, to uh, any town you visited previously. All right, hand. Go ahead and uh, heal up everybody that you can. Now, we are able to set up another macro here. And that's if we go... Han, Watt, and Alice, Zan. Uh, still no update from the uh, from the team uh, on the uh, server, unfortunately. Uh, let's try out that new combo. Yep, that gets off the blizzard attack. Uh, not as good as Tri Blaster, but still uh, gets an AoE attack to go out. All 
All right, uh, Kateri is uh, basically the last stop before Zeo's Fort. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go outside here, hug the wall, and here we have another section of town. I, uh, let that go away too quickly. Uh, we just picked up a laser slasher, which will be perfect for Alice. That gives her an extra three attack power. And then we got this uh, area in the back here. I'm trying to remember if there are any chests here at all. Uh, don't... doesn't look like it. Alright, so we're gonna set foot inside of here, but we're not gonna go very far. Uh, if we take a look at this, it's an invisible barrier, we can't go forward. Uh, this place basically becomes Grind Central here. Uh, so we got Speards as well as Tech Users showing up. And Han goes down. And so that's why we're not going very far in here. Um, just because the damage increase is already just that much stronger than what we've got currently available to us here. Uh, let's do Crosscut, Attack, and Double Slash. Alright, so that took care of the, uh, the group, but obviously with Han down, uh, that's... we're not gonna be, uh, having a good time in here, so... Uh, Chaz, go ahead and do Ryuka back to... Aido. It's kinda funny that Aido is that far down the list when he was originally from this town. I know, I know what the real reason is, they just didn't want you teleporting back here, uh, before, uh before you actually got here in the story. All right, so let's rest up. All right, so this building here, this is the Hunter's Guild. And in this place, we're able to take on different missions. Uh, now, currently, there is just one listed here, the ranch owner. And the request uh, states, The sandworms at my ranch have become so big that I'm at my wit's end. Please help me. And if we complete this, we're going to get 5,000 Meseta. So with that, Chaz, go ahead and Ryuk us, us over to Meal. And I want to have everybody at full strength, so we're going to go ahead and rest again. Alright, so we're going to save here. Just in case this battle doesn't go the way I'm hoping. Uh, in fact, it's pretty much guaranteed that we're probably going to lose a couple of people during this thing. Um, given that we're under-leveled for this, but I'll still give it a try here. Now, what I do want to do, though, is I want to... Let's see. Do we have a better way to set up that macro? I think what we'll do is we'll leave that as is, but we'll create another macro. That'll be similar. Double slash. 
And then we'll say what and Zan. Shaz will get crosscut. And then Grizz will attack. And that way we can keep the combo going even uh, even once we run out of the other skills. And I'll save once again. Alright. Are you the hunters from the guild? The sandworms I have raised in this ranch have grown so big, the situation is out of hand. But please, can you do something about it? I won't complain whatever the outcome is. Alrighty. And there is a giant sandworm. Uh, what is, uh, what is the old saying? Um... Oh, the quote is is miss. I'm I'm missing the quote right now, but uh, ba but basically, Dune. That's that's the reference I'm trying to make here. Uh, let's go ahead and actually before we go full out here, uh, we're going to do shift on Chaz. We'll have you use your Soof uh, attack first. I'm trying to remember what Doran did. Uh, and we'll use Sanner there. Okay. Uh, that's round one. Round two, let's also get Shift on Rika. Chaz, go ahead and resta. And Rika, you should resta as well. Okay, it missed. So that's the best possible outcome for this uh, for the next couple of rounds here. Let's do it. Chaz took a hit there. Uh, so we'll do sort of a regular round here. Okay, Alice can uh, can survive a hit here, so we'll go on with the combo, or rather the macro. Okay, uh, that was good. So we'll go Vortex. Chaz can heal Alice. And... Ooh, I did not mean to attack uh, with Rika. Once again, that's that same bug. If you're holding a direction as you go to hit a, a, uh, a button to confirm an action, it will uh, uh, it will uh, it will move to the next thing. Uh, unfortunately, Han went down there, so we're down a player, or rather, we're down a character here. Earth will work on this thing, but I'll give it a shot. Uh, now, Illusion... I didn't... I don't think anything. Yeah, Earth doesn't, uh, doesn't connect. So, Vortex... Uh, we'll do... No, we'll do a regular attack with Chaz. And with Rika as well. Okay. Vortex one more time. Chaz, you can heal yourself. Rika, heal Alice. 
And there we go. The sandworm is down. Alice leveled up. Uh, twice. Chaz leveled up. Twice. No, three times. Grizz levels up. Three times. Rika levels up. Four times. All right. And uh, yeah, I saw that as well, Zance. Uh, the server is back online. Uh, so we'll just hit the end real quick here.